Time for another weekly update. As you can see, I sort of have my Y head slash Z head assembly put together. Uh, here is the nozzle uh, rotary stepper motors, nozzle stepper motors, and there you can see how they fit in the bottom. Uh, currently, I don't have these screwed in because the hose swivel assembly that goes on this end and the nozzle holder that goes on this end both are going to be a light press so it'll be easier to put them on when they're not in the machine uh, and there you can see the mounting pattern and how I have them screwed to the slides um, here's the z-axis um, the z-axis set up such that when it's in this neutral position from the tip of the nozzle to the bed will be about 35 millimeters and there's 30 millimeters travel in the down direction which also gives you 30 millimeters travel in the up direction which isn't all that useful. Uh, here is the z-axis home switch it's set up such that when it's neutral is the transition from blocked to unblocked so I can tell by the status of that sensor which way it needs to move and then just go find home. Uh, here's the y-axis all put together. Get out a little farther. So that works. I had to trim uh, that plate there where that shaft goes through. Uh, I just did that with a grinder. And I think that is everything on it for right now. Um, what's left? I need to get a y-axis home. I need to make some mounts for my uh, cable chain and then I need to start on electronics. Uh, I gotta figure out cameras and a driver board. So once that is all done and I, well, I gotta build the swivel and I gotta build the nozzle. Once all that is done, um, it should be ready to try and pick in place maybe. Well, that's it for this week. Later.